A while ago I cheekily suggested that NVIDIA should sponsor my work because of the experiments I'm doing in combining human creativity with generative AI. I didn't expect that a post like that would result in an actual sponsorship. But here we are today to talk about the Corsair One and a sponsorship with NVIDIA and Origin PC. Over the last few years I've done countless experiments of combining generative AI with more traditional workflows most of these experiments using online services. During that same time, the open source community has done incredible work in allowing us to have tighter control over the generative matter. In this video, I will give you a few examples of how I utilize the raw power of the Corsair One in my creative workflow. The Corsair One is a very compact system and when my kids saw the new computer compared to my old Maxi Tower, they immediately thought that it was less powerful, but that couldn't be further from the truth. Let's have a bit of creative work running in the background while I list some specs. 14th generation Intel Core i9, a whooping 192GB of Corsair Vengeance DDR5 RAM, very fast storage, and most importantly, a NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 graphics card. This is a very popular card for running AI models locally. The Corsair One PC Origin Edition features extensive customization options that you can check out at originpc.com. Now with that out of the way, let's focus on the creative workflows that such a system allows for. In the video I'm sculpting in VR with Adobe Substance Modeler using my Quest 3 headset. The very powerful NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 GPU accelerating my VR sculpting makes the experience pure joy. The image on the right side is a real-time AI transformation of my 3D model using image to image, in this case using an online cloud service. But in a minute we'll take a look at a local setup that allows me to do some of the same things using Photoshop and AI Diffusion. Let's finish off this project by making a small AI video using another online service. Now let's take a look at what you can do with AI models running locally on your own system. There's a lot of tutorials that goes into detail on how you can install these models. It's often a quite technical process, but luckily there's easier alternatives. In this case, I went with the Pinocchio AI browser, which allows you to install systems like Comfy UI with just a few clicks. Here, I've installed the Comfy UI and I can get started prompting images into existence using stable diffusion. But I find it much more interesting to drive image generation with brush strokes and 3D sculpting. And luckily, the open source community comes to the rescue with a Photoshop plugin. If you follow the step by step instructions, it should be easy to install. Now it's time to into Photoshop and start painting. You'll find the Comfy UI plugin under the Photoshop plugins and the powerful NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 gives me close to real-time transformation of what I'm painting in Photoshop. Once I'm happy with the AI transformation, I can send that into the Photoshop canvas and continue working on it. When I'm happy with the image, I can use that as an input for further AI work. Here, I've used AI to transform the image into a 3D model that I can relight and compose as I like. And even though models like that are still quite low quality, they're the perfect guide for further AI diffusion. Here's a few more examples from Photoshop of using the Comfy UI plugin. Lastly, I want to give a huge shout out to Origin PC and NVIDIA Studio for sponsoring the Corsair One system. I can't wait to do more creative explorations using this kind of power. Make sure to check out OriginPC.com for more information about systems like the Corsair One.